Guardian Games 2021 began yesterday, fueling the fire of competition between hunters, titans, and warlocks. Today I have some tips you won't want to miss if you plan on contributing to this year's Guardian Games in the hopes of your favorite class winning. Let's dive right into it. For the first time in a long time, we have a moment of respite. I intend to make the most of it. It's important that people in the last city feel like they're living, not just surviving. To that end, I've asked Eva Levante to bring back the Guardian Games. This is an opportunity for Titans, Warlocks, and Hunters alike to celebrate the Traveler's gifts with a little healthy competition. At the end of the games, one class will rise above the others. And if I recall correctly, the last time we did this, my Titans achieved what can only be described as a blowout. But don't forget, whoever wins, we're all on the same side. Good luck out there, Guardian. So we discussed some of this, the basics, the other day when the Guardian Games was announced for this year, but now that the activity is out, let's talk some of the farming locations, most efficient ways to progress and get medals, and so on. First up, let's talk about laurels. So you can begin the Guardian Games by heading over to Zavala and talking to him for a little bit, and here he will give you a class item for this year's games. You will need to of course wear this item to obtain laurels, which is the currency for the event. If you're not wearing the cloak, mark, or bond from this year's event, it cannot be last year's, you won't get any of the laurels. Laurels are obtained by killing basically anything with your abilities or your super. So you'll definitely want to spam your grenades whenever you can and use roaming supers to get the most laurels you can. Something like Blade Barrage probably won't help you that much. You can carry up to 500 laurels and can get them from almost any activity. But if you're looking for a quick farm to get back up to 200 for that platinum card real quick, here are some options you can do. First, it's basic, but any strike with a lot of enemies. Hallowed Layer is a pretty good one, as usually the enemies at the end don't count for bounties, but they do drop laurels this time around. Next, you could do the Thrall Way and the Shattered Throne. This, of course, is not the most efficient because you have to do the whole dungeon to get to this location, but some people do enjoy the Thrall Farm. The third and best option in my opinion is the Last Wish Raid with a Shuro Chi checkpoint. If you are unaware, Last Wish can be loaded up from the Dreaming City at the top of the screen. And if you go to the Wish Wall, you can enter this code right here which will spawn you at Shuro Chi. From there, pop down a Rally Flag and earn yourself 60 to 80 laurels in a minute or less. Wipe, repeat the process, and you're good to go in a couple of minutes. And lastly, bounties from EVA will also give you some laurels. So how do you get medals? How do you progress your favorite class in the hopes that they're going to win this event? So medals are of course what you're going to bank at the tower podium in the center here. This will both advance your triumphs and also help out your class by raising the flags for each week and also the culmination of the event totals when the Guardian Games ends. Some of the lower tier medals can be obtained from activities. So for example, if you did something like a strike, you may get a silver or bronze medal, which will help your class a little bit, but these are probably not the ones you want to go for. They're just sort of extra. The best way to get some medals, or if you're going after a specific one, is the contender cards in Eva's inventory. The first two is Trials and Nightfall, which will give you a platinum medal. These are the ones you probably want to go after the most. Then if you complete the Crucible, Striker, Gambit cards, you will get a gold medal. So the middle of the road, they ain't the best, they ain't the worst, but progress is progress, right? And then like mentioned, the silver and bronze are from just activities. You can also get some medals by completing your Guardian Games Triumphs in your inventory. Your medals are held in the Quest tab in the Medal Case. Some people were confused, this is not a quest, it's just a location where you can see the medals you are currently holding, and when you wish or when your case is full, you can head to the podium and deposit those medals. 
So currently, I think the most efficient way to get platinum medals is going to be the Nightfall one. Trials doesn't release until Friday, so not sure how this will progress if it's round wins or game wins. But for this week at least, if you do 11270 Nightfall, all you have to do is get kills throughout the strike. I personally use Trinity Ghoul if you have a Catalyst. This is one of the best weapons you can probably use, as everything in your path gets completely wiped out with Arc Energy. Now this is a little bit up in the air as the Nightfall is going to change week after week and Trials may be easier if you enjoy things like the Crucible, but otherwise run those Nightfalls with a powerful weapon like Trinity Ghoul. If you're going for the Air Apparent or the Catalyst, here's how you start those. The quest itself is available in Eva's inventory if you did not get the weapon last year. As for the Catalyst, this will drop randomly from banking gold or platinum medals. As you can see, this is my first time banking the medals I recorded, and I actually got the catalyst the first try, so I'm assuming it's not that difficult to achieve. I never Here's some more tips for you. In the tower, if you haven't noticed, there is a node for Guardian Game Strikes. These are specific to the current class you are on. So, for example, I'm a hunter, so I will only match with hunters in this mode, which is pretty cool. Also, as seen in some other Triumphs, there's something called the Daily Focus, which will rotate daily. The first one was for Strike, so I believe when it's the focus for that specific activity, you'll just get some more Laurels. And certain Triumphs can only be completed on these days as well, like this one. Complete three cards when the Crucible is the Daily Focus. The Guardians hope you enjoyed today's video. We talked about the Guardian games a little bit last week, but now that the event is out, I wanted to give you some tips to grind efficiently if you're a hunter especially, and get you those rewards if that's what you're going after. If you'd like to see some more videos just like this one and also some others on Destiny's Mysteries, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching. My name's Evade, and I'll catch you Guardians in the next one.